Hey everyone! We are doing Star Trek, and here I have my, uh, my, I don't even know what to call it, my second command canned. Second command? Number one. I'm number one. Or, no way. No, you're the captain. <laughs> okay, let me, let me explain to you how Star Trek works. Can, can we just fucking start it? <laughs> go As much as we don't want to. Okay, so we're playing Star Trek, and, um, this is a really bad game based upon a really bad movie. Um... Well... It's apparently yeah. bad. We have, we've have we only played like the first couple of minutes, uh, but it has co-op, and so that's going to be entertaining as hell. It has a stealth mode. Ah, stealth! Okay, so I could either be, uh, you could choose to be Spock or Kirk, so obviously, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the captain of this this uh, this video, so let's do it. <laughs> well, the alternative third option of uh, Scotty. <laughs> I would so fucking pick Scotty. I would play old generation, Scotty. I'm, okay, in a I'm, start, I'm starting it. I'll invite you. Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch. So, uh, Ken isn't actually here yet. I had to invite him. Oh, uh, he's he's apparently waiting for me. This is some cutscene thing. I can't even go anywhere. I'm not joining the game. The co-op partners reach checkpoint. Also, this is, um, Captain, scripted. Fuck you, Ken. I'm better at chess than you. I don't see shit. <laughs> I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. You didn't realize this whole time I still hear the firefight, right? Hey, it's cutscene. Shut up. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain. But highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another Captain? We have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. All right, well, here we go. Yeah, sorry, yeah, about, sorry that. about that. All I had was gunfight. Gun oh god, fuck. Okay. You're... Oh yeah, oh, this yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to mute you. Fuck. Yeah, this game is beautiful. And <laughs> other such amazing titles which featured always on mics. Dead Island. Yeah, but at least you can mute it. <laughs> yeah. You tell him to go places, aren't you? <laughs> you're so large. <laughs> oh yes, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> the Take fuck? it all. I will follow your lead, Captain. <laughs> Are you quite done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Well, I have time to go to the bridge. Okay. Try reversing the phase oscillation. All right, let's listen to these guys. I'm stumped, Captain. Chief. I just got the results of those scans. Good work, Ensign. Hey, he's a red shirt. He's gonna die. So I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, You're kind of just walking <laughs> around, Mike. I don't mind saying that. <laughs> That's okay. The feature. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help him out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. 
Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual luck, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns can handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. No, well, looks like I'm going. Casual. Fuck the turbo lift. No, I want the chair. Fuck you off. No. Yeah, railgun. Resting my legs before our mission, Captain. <laughs> right. Get on my level. Let's go talk Next to level chair sitting. Maneuver. Tell me about those energy fluctuations. Anyways, this is kind of like the. I guess we just kind of sit on the bridge here. Have more information. We don't really do much here. Ken took my fucking Suit. chair. Get suited up. You're taking us over. Comfy. Yes, sir. Want to meet you in shadow? Want to kick you off? Something's not right here. I'm over there. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is it so laggy all of a sudden? It wasn't this laggy before. It's because it's because like, recording. Yeah, recording effects, connection speed. Yeah, just warping around the room. When did Kirk become Goku? I can't stand up when you're standing there. <laughs> you're trapped. <laughs> what are we gonna do with the captain's chair? <laughs> Pump. Kirk. Alright, I'm going to the turbo lift. Fuck off. Just gonna... Uh, scan the planet. Oh, you left the chair. I await your orders, Captain. It's mine now. Oh, this never gets old. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's definitely an M-class star. Uh, <laughs> habitable by mole people. They're on the sun. Shit, yeah. Oh, okay. Mole people get everywhere, man. You know. I ah, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I thought I could stand up in here. Fucking lied. It's because I walked up up next to you. Come on, let's go. Fucking delaying this shit. Oh, I'm I'm excited. I don't know about you. Captain, I must insist. You insist. You know, oh, this uh, change of scenery might do you some good. Captain. I've. <laughs> you come with me. <laughs> what? I love the level of, of just clipping into each other. I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Uh. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. <laughs> this is like the like not very good animation. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You know, it, this is like a it's like a game based upon a big budget summer movie, basically. It's you know, it up. it's it, you're not gonna get anything good out of it. All right, we're gonna power ranger suits on. Let's go. Hey, can, wait, can we go back the other way? Sure. Oh yeah, we can. <laughs> Dream big. <laughs> no, let's let's go. Let's go out to the fucking shuttle. Uh. Come on, we can go sit on the bridge of the freaking spandex suit. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was thinking. Oh well. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. Normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sulu, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. It begins. It does begin. Again. <laughs> so we, we have a key for stealth. More stealth than Splinter Cell, basically. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I am. Wait, Zulu came with us? He's the pilot. Well, we don't. We, okay, so we, we go on these things. Like, we, we, we come to these fucking space stations by ourselves, but, like, we don't fucking drive the ship. Yeah. He, he didn't so suit up either. What? Can you blame him? <laughs> I got hit by something. What the fuck? Alright. To here. Assistance required, waiting for your You were ahead of me? You were fucking around the room! <laughs> what? Get ahead of me! Please step forward for decontamination. Jesus! No! Fuck decontamination. It's not quite Judge Dredd, but it's getting there. <laughs> oh, as long as you can hit stuff, it's okay. 
Uh, the story behind that, we tried to play Judge Dredd. There was literally a five second delay on my end. Yeah, it wasn't meant for internet play, basically. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun Damn it. you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. This is Mirror's Edge. Stop Captain, it, Mike. We must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. We just found an alternate route. Don't look at my bum, silly boy. <laughs> Scan it. Hey, you can, you can pull out your tricorder while you freaking. Yeah. Kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about this right wor now? Worst mechanic. According to this, you have good vital signs, Mike. Good job. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Check this out. I I I just j jumped down here the last time. Hey, how how do I get back up? I don't think I can't. I think you're blocking me. Standing in the way. Let me move. <laughs> I can't. It's like Tomb Raider. All I can do is all I can do is jump down. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh, oh! Casual side passage, Mike. What? Side passage? Found all the secrets. You know, There's nothing here. This is not even a side passage. This is linear as fuck, let's be honest. Hey, wait, I can't go through- I can't come through you right now. Oh, now I can. <laughs> Apparently when you have this out, I can't do that. Help me with this door, Captain. Don't be me. Actually, <laughs> for all I know, you're trying to get on the door. The door together. <laughs> Stop <Fine>. scanning Spock's <laughs> ass. <laughs> and what- 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 <laughs> Quick time events. I wasn't even pressing the button, by the way. He's stuck in there. Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Okay, watch, watch, watch this hacking mini game. Okay. I press E. Next hold E to unlock. Don't fucking die. The door is locked. <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Match signals. Oh wait, now we have a mini now we have a mini game. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Good point. How the fuck does this even work? Miracles. I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. And uh, hack that thing. And I, I took damage from that. <laughs> I took damage from the hacking game. Do it, Mr. Spock. Go. Dude, do you even understand how to do that? I, I certainly don't. Yeah? How do you do it? What? Oh shit, I just did a roll. When I jump from the chair, I do a roll. <laughs> Kirk is the best with chairs. You know, you're really heavily concentrating there. Well, it's just a matter because, like, it. You have to go. You have to, okay, Mike, how's you do that minigame? You have to match the signals with the arrow keys and the mouse. I was trying so I that. Had to take, but I have to, like, take my. Like, there. I couldn't pressure push, push to talk you while I was doing that. And it's uh, timed! Hey, hey, you know you can, whenever you jump off chairs, you can do a roll. Oh, baller! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Mirror's Edge 2! Okay, we're done with this. Let's go. I'm not. Fuck off. Let's go. Stop studying the fire. Oh, God, this fire is too deep! Is it really? It is! Perfect. You're right! <laughs> <laughs> it all is! <laughs> oh my god. They couldn't even get proper fire. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh you, you opened that, didn't you, over here? Oh shit, did I? Yeah. I thought you did. Am I wrong? It's something. Oh wait, he he's over here now. That's what this room is for, is for him to go. Yeah, maybe I was wrong, me didn't open that. Maybe it didn't do shit. 
Actually, I guess I'll open the door, I'll be progressing through, because, you know, logically. Dude, okay, whenever I mash F, my frame rate drops to 20 frames per second. <laughs> I can still hear the noise. Oh shit, the Mass Effect core. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, now we're now we're doing uh Mirror's Edge. No, oh, this is like Tomb Raider. That's the screen. <laughs> hey Spock, you look like you need a hand. <laughs> Why are you Sir, still there? We need to disable that laser arm. Uh, so I have to disable that laser arm for you? Yeah, casual. Okay, what's it connected to? Like bone? Holy shit. Well, I made it all the way up here. I don't know where to go next. Since we're dancing down here, I'll well, wait for you. <laughs> I'm seriously one, like... I might just jump off, Mike. <laughs> no, don't do that. You have so much to live for. Ah, it's hurting me! <laughs> he killed me! He killed me! What uh, the fuck, developers? One second, I'm, I'm coming for you. Nope, okay, I have, oh. no, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Jesus. I just assume kind of like I have to shoot something. Continue to command center, that's all it tells me. Oh wait, right, I, I shot that? You shoot that? What? What the fuck? How is that even this? Whatever, anyways. No, apparently I deactivated it. Don't know why it had to be me. Uh, I figured, no, like, go go back there, move side it. to side. That looked really fucked up. The anomaly and the failure <laughs> of this station are most assuredly connected. <laughs> the time, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Dude, your legs aren't even moving on my, on my end. <laughs> you just Amazing. got to slide. <laughs> How do you see it? <laughs> Fuck you, Spock. Casual. Oh wait, 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 there's friendly fire? There is. Are you taking damage? <laughs> Damn get it. Wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, gonna, I got a close up look at Spock's face. It's not bad, just I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I, I'm supposed to climb up this stuff. So, okay, I wasn't even supposed to disable it, it was your fucking job. Sorry, it, 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 it's saying, like, use a tricorder to figure it. Well, I probably can't use my tricorder when I'm dangling for my life. <laughs> you should try it. Okay. Apparently, this game is far more casual uh, than uh, that. Apparently, I need you to fucking pry this door open. Well, Vulcan strength, man. E well, even though that you don't even have to mash E, I'm the one who has to mash it. Great, now I gotta fucking wait for you. God, you're ruining this! Sorry, this game's controls aren't very that conducive. <laughs> All you get to do is stare at this door. I don't even get to watch you because fucking amazing. Let's get this door open. I can't even cancel it. Unhandsy game. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, I, I can cancel it. I, I can shoot you while I wait. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Aha, I win. We work together to open this door. <laughs> <laughs> Sheva, Sheva. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Fine. Let's open it. <laughs> Once again, I just... Step forward. Mmm, that doesn't sound good. It's Captain, a scanner that can kill you. Stepping into that scanner. But fuck you, Spock! Around, Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Next level dodging! How's this room? Hey, we made your command center. Captain, so get the using over shield. We have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will 
the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Really? Try to live long and prosper? Fuck you, buddy. I think he's a ghost. He doesn't care that we shoot him in the face. So, okay, so if they're locked in the transporter room, why don't they just teleport us there? Or transport us, like, back or whatever? Or why don't they teleport somewhere? Try the spooky level of, uh, the fuck sun is, radiation. I don't know. What the fuck is the point of having transporters if you can't even fucking use them? You know, that always bugged me about the new movies, too. It's like, uh, I watched the, the new one with Khan or whatever, and half the fucking time, it's like, why don't you just teleport him, like, into space or some shit, you know? That's it. It's like, that's it. It's over. That'd be bad mana. Fuck. Like, taunting after a headshot. Or a body shot, even. <laughs> but he's, like, he's, like, super evil and all that. I don't know, everything about the new movies pisses me off. We should engage mag boots now, sir. Oh, God. It's time to take cover, Mike. Uh, and I, I can't jump anymore. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go, now. Yep. You didn't go either? Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, so you can see where it's going. Are you still there? Yeah, I said fuck you, I'm not going. Bye. But yeah, the reason you can't dodge is because, uh, jump even. But he said it's because of the mag boots up. Unhand me! <laughs> I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. Where you can't. Still have to start because I'm forgetting this. On hand to be gay. Oh god. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, <laughs> sir. Right. Have fun waiting for me, asshole. I'm too MLG for you. I can't even see you at this point. Oh god. I took I took I took a bit of health damage. There wasn't completely behind these things. Alright, I win. Oh, fuck, it's another one of these co-op pry open things. Yeah, <laughs> fun. I guess I'll talk about, uh, you know, my, my experience with Star Trek. Um, uh, I've, I've watched, I think, like, everything. Um, I'm not a huge Trekkie, like, I don't really care about, like... I always like, basically, the, the interesting plots, not the ones where they come up with some kind of fucking magic thing at the very end. But, like, like, all of a sudden we, we just thought of some science fiction magic voodoo that they can't use again in every, any other episode, kind of thing. But sometimes it gets good. Usually, if you watch like some of the last seasons of like uh, the more modern shows, uh, those ones are pretty good. Uh, like the, the last season is when the, the show be, shows usually become fleshed out and all that. Uh, as for the new movies, um, they're basically summer spectacle movies. They're not really that fucking terrific. Uh, so you know, it's kind of just like it's kind of whatever. Oh, there you are. Anyways, that's that's what I need to finish. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for today. So uh, next time we'll pry this door open. No. Or will we? <laughs> Bye. Next time on Star Trek Ball Z. <laughs>